It is Monday, June the 3rd, 2024. I am James. You are you. We are here for another thrilling episode. That's right. I'm making a claim right now. This episode is going to thrill you. Not unlike an extremely fast car going down an open highway. Not unlike a roller coaster with a G-force smacking you right in the face. Not unlike the Maid of the Mist, the famous boat that travels through Niagara Falls. This episode is like that, but on crack. Now I know that we've got a lot of people who enjoy crack, who watch this show. And to you, I say I'm not here to judge. How you get your thrills is none of my business. But what is my business is thrilling you with this show. What's the point of this show anymore? For the past month, I've been asking. And dare I say for the past month, my intros have been a cut above where they've been for years. There's something about when I'm on edge. There's something about when I'm just a little bit prickly that takes this show, specifically the intros, up a notch. I mentioned it moments ago, we've hit June, which means it's what? The alarms are sounding, and that sound means special edition of At Home. No. It's not a birthday. No, it's not a holiday. It means it's time for revised resolutions. The tradition continues, but in order to revise resolutions, of course you need people who have made resolutions, which means we've got ourselves a nice group of people, legends of the at-home universe, ready to hit your screen. Oh, hold on. The countdown begins in 20 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. What are my neighbors thinking right now? Because I know that they can... I know you can hear me back there. And that's right. I'm mouthing Auld Lang Sing, the new year. What if they came over and started banging on my door? A happening it would be, let's welcome to the screen, Dave Kaufman and downtown Alex Brown. Dave, what do you think about that intro right off the hop? I thought it was great, James. And uh, You just... laughed. You laughed. It got, And then it made me laugh. And then Maggie cried. You I want to get, get that, that reference because it's from The Simpsons. I don't get that yeah. reference, but I will say Sorry, when you uh, accused the audience of... Uh, I didn't part, accuse anyone. I celebrated. When you insinuated that part of our audience was uh, of a crack-smoking variety, it, it made me uh, made me chuckle. I got you. Because Dave, it's, it's funny because it's true. always like the nasty stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Alex, yeah. welcome back. I've been trying to book you for months. I know, I know, well, look. You said I'll be more free in June. I sent yes. you a text in my bed. Yeah, yeah. breaking news. I breaking text in bed. News. Wow. And, I, and I don't, I'll don't. i say this right now. I don't sleep. <laughs> no. I sleep in a t-shirt and my boxers. Easy, you got a James. Problem, it's a PG you got a problem, show. You got a problem, take it up with God. I'm taking Al it up with City Hall. You were, yeah, go see uh, Mayor <laughs> Valerie Plant. Yeah. yeah. There's a guy that sleeps in a shirt and his underwear. <laughs> Alex, you were true to your bed. word. I was what? June third. You were true to your word. Yeah. See. Okay, well, yeah. What was going on in the month of May? Well, you know, I gotta be honest. There was some uh, personal journey. You know, I guess. Well, just like therapy. Okay. A dis well, you, uh, I, I will say you didn't have to reveal that, but I thought that yeah, was. I mean, I'm open about my, you know, mental health journey. You know, I wanna. I, I want to destigmatize, uh, yeah. you, know, you know, taking care of your your brain. Yeah, hashtag Brown. Uh, let's talk. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I'm here to talk on behalf of Bell Canada. Well, this is this is very brave of you. Thank you for being so intimate and interactive. Yes, of course. Yeah, always. You seem um, like you're in a better place. 
Oh, yes. Well, thank God. Yeah, Dave's oh, been worried in our internal years. Slack channel when we book the show. There was yeah. a dark cloud over your head. <laughs> yeah, my aura yeah. was... Uh, you know, I had to, like, reconfigure my aura, basically. Yeah, the, 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 yeah, I got a question. Did you sail across the sun? No. That, that guy died. Well, one of them. Oh, this was this. I think this is the second time this has come up on this show. He didn't. It was. It was one of the guitarists. He was a bass player, no? Or yeah, but when I sing and you go, that guy died, and it was a singer. Then it went from singer to guitarist to bass. Well, because all I saw was guy from that band. Did yeah. you make it through the Milky Way? The caboose. The caboose uh, died. Uh, I was that bass. What? This is already out of control. We're all talking at once. I want to acknowledge something. It's revised resolutions. And I thought to myself, well, who was on the show when we did resolutions at the top of the year? Alex, you were here. Yes. Which I was surprised to see, pleasantly so. Dave, of course, you were here. Kathy Fagan was on the show. I and I thought, wait, if we could get everyone back together. But I know that Kathy's uh, currently out of the country. Oh. And then it quickly uh occurred to me that was a very interesting episode because dave you were angry all night long well i think if i recall correctly uh you were being uh quite mean oh well, if if we were to revise what happened which is what you're doing yes i was being quite mean but what happened is that you were a little surly because you were getting roasted and toasted in the chat by a viewer oh, yeah. who hasn't been here in a while, Four Loco Toad. I've got no issues with Four Loco Toad. I felt as like though the uh, the murderer was coming from inside the house. Wow. <laughs> We're laughing a lot so far. I'm tired. Well, let's um, hope he doesn't show up tonight because, I, Dave, I want you to be in good spirits. I'm always yeah, in good Dave. spirits, James. Yeah, well. He's like you're in a great mood yeah. well alex you were on that episode what is yes. your recollection of it and let's don't pander to me don't pander to dave yeah. what's your recollection honestly i don't remember much um you know maybe maybe the therapy you know wiped out some of the the harsher memories of my life um but i do remember kathy was very cool yeah i remember that distinctively and i was like wow Hey, check it out. I look like a unicorn. You do kind of look like a unicorn. <laughs> wow, this show has officially hit rock bottom when... <laughs> There's the new resolutions. Well, I, I want for us to get into it. Now, I mentioned this off air. I don't mm -hmm. recall any resolutions that I made. It probably would have been wise had I watched the show in, in, in advance, but I'm just like all the guests. I don't watch yeah. the show. No, come so on. I, I want to go around the horn here. Dave, did you make any resolutions this year? I didn't make a resolution at New Year's, James, but I did make a resolution. Hold on now. Hold on now. Hold on. We're going to get to that. We're going to get to the revised resolutions in just a little bit. Oh. Let's just, let's just relax. What do you is mean? They, well, because this is re, it's revised resolution. I know, but I did one on the show uh, like two weeks ago. Hold on. Hold I on. Know. I still have to I hold that? I don't, I don't think it fits with where we're at in terms of the panel topic. Okay. Alex, do yeah. you recall making any resolutions? Um, it's not it's not really my style, you know. I don't love a resolution at New Year's. I think okay. it's kind of pokey. Oh, um, just like because it's like so. Hold like, on hold on now, hold on now. You think what? it's a little hokey? Yeah, I think we might be off air. As no, well. no, we're fine. Are we're, we off air? All no. right. Well, I I, now, now I can noise. really tell you what I think. I heard a noise in the background that usually indicates we are off air. So I am uh, I'm nervous. Right? That was a Adobe oh. warning. I should update my paranoid. Adobe Acrobat. Ooh, yeah. Well, I also think you should Photoshop? start updating the uh, your uh, sound effect notifications because they all sound like the one that indicates that your net has dropped. Let Alex, I want to go back to something you you mentioned. Yes. You think it's hokey. I do. Uh, can I put you on the hot seat for a second? Because you started yeah. doing a little, a bit of a uh, a cheeky voice, mocking people that make them, which, look, mm -hmm. I love, as someone who loves to ridicule. <laughs> Alex, oh, I want course. you to speak your truth right now. You've been, you've been working through things. Yeah. I want you to look into the camera. I want you to talk directly to people that make resolutions. You do the voice if you want to. Yeah. I want you to speak your truth to resolutionalists. Well, look, I mean, the thing is, if it works for you, and if you feel good doing it, I think it's great. And, you know, I think if if it helps people and yeah. Um, but I just feel like it's very kind of like 
cliche to be like January 1st, like hitting the gym or like, you know, that kind of thing. Like, so I, I think it depends on the approach and I don't know. It's just, it's never been something that I've like really ascribed okay, to. Okay, so much. what it sounds like is you're not trying to, and I quote, and I might hate myself after saying this, <laughs> yuck their yum. Right, exactly. I'm not yucking anyone's yum. I'm just yeah. saying like, good for you if that's good if that works for you but for me i'm like it's not something i like okay so in my opinion you know with the the conditioning that we get as children the school year is really the new year for me so like september you know that's that when you celebrate new year's is september <laughs> yeah, i'm celebrating like going back to school you know okay yeah right. so, so interesting so maybe chronologically due to the time frame this episode also doesn't align no we would no, need to I've check got... in a few months after september but we'll yeah. go as is dave what did you think about alex's uh, thoughts on new year's resolutions and the people that make them i mean i wouldn't necessarily don't try to don't try to yick what is it yuck, don't any... yuck anybody's um, yuck. look i don't want to muck anybody's <laughs> barn here but uh <laughs> oh no I, uh, I'm loving this episode. I'm I, loving uh, it. We're wide open. Oh, yeah. Full yeah, cool. built. <laughs> I tend to uh, agree that making a resolution on New Year's, just the fact that you feel obligated to based on, like, mm -hmm. a social sort of conditioning, it exactly. makes it very unlikely that you're going to hold yourself to account to see yeah. that resolution through. Yeah. So uh, I personally like to make my resolutions midway through the year. Mm -hmm. So this is perfect. Yeah. Right, but I I made them a couple weeks ago. <laughs> All right, well, close, 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 to close. Yeah, let's get into it. The second portion, Dave. We can yeah. we can reveal what has already been revealed in previous episodes. Dave, you got any resolutions with the time that we've got left in twenty twenty four? Sure. Well, of course, uh, it wouldn't have to be with the time I have left in twenty twenty four. It would spill over into uh, next year, shifting by six months. Uh, of course. Interesting. Yeah. So, I don't. My immediate reaction is to want to poo-poo it, but I don't want to. I don't want to muck your barn. Yeah, please. <laughs> We're not mucking anyone's barn. Yeah, here. yeah. Let's be clear. So uh, it might be tough uh, for Dave because he's a notorious <laughs> barn. Muck. Yeah, I've heard things. Yeah. Oh yeah, we've all heard things. Go <laughs> on. A notorious B A R N. <laughs> um, yeah. So. Uh, a couple weeks ago, I made the resolution. It's a typical resolution, but I did it off-center. Uh, I'm going to get into shape, uh, both from a cardio perspective and a strength perspective, and add in a little bit of mobility perspective. So I've started. I've been... Uh, today, I... Uh, proud to announce he's bought a wheelchair. I worked out today. Ugh, I got this thing right here. I was swinging... Oh, I was swinging this thing around. I was doing some squats. I was doing some swings. Wow. Uh, soon I'm going to be incorporating the uh, Turkish get-up into my routine. The what? Oh, I just want to point out that uh, we had a brief cameo. It was a, uh, <laughs> we had a Vance Gillis sighting. We had a Vance Gillis <laughs> cameo. Uh, uh, Alex, your roommate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, so I, I'm starting to enter uh, into this routine. I plan on uh, going to see a uh, personal trainer also. I haven't picked out the right guy. Oh, okay. But uh, my work is going to... Uh, pay for it because they want me Love to uh, stay fit hmm. what, you, what is a you said something about a Turkish delight a Turkish get up it's a okay. uh, is that? it's an yeah, exercise the Turkish delight which is a gelatinous <laughs> candy yes, yes, it's, it's uh, when well, you start on your back and you hoist okay. the weight up and then you have to get all oh, the way up yes. with the weight above your head and then right. all the way back down and, and that's yeah. That's your goal? That's what you're trying to be able to do? Yeah, I used to be able to do it with like 72 pounds, but I'm wow. really out of shape these days, so I need to, I need to get back into the Once swing. Once you things. get off the wagon, it takes time to get back on. Does. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah, it's hard. And then hard the other th resolution that I made yeah. is uh, just uh, simple, drinking more water. Oh, hydration. Now, now this is interesting because I've been also trying to drink more water. It's not going to fall into my resolution list, but I have noticed that Drinking it out of a sippy cup is more fun. What it, kind of sippy cup? This one is well, a uh, Contigo. He's got a bottle. He's but I. That's more. Oh, mine yeah. is mine's a sippy cup. 
Yours is a true sippy cup. You know like, what? I I hate oh. going off screen, but the, you know what? We're going full tilt. Yeah. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go get the sippy cup. Go. We'll, we'll entertain that. Uh, Manskillis cameo. Yeah, yeah so we'll entertain anything them. Anything goes. So uh, what's going on, Alex? Hey. Well, now that James is not here. Yeah, yeah. Hello. This dirt oh, bag. Really? Yeah, what a... Well, all right, guys, I'm back. Oh, oh hey, James. Hi. We missed you. Welcome back. So, as you can see, this is uh, this is oh, my, my sippy cup. Wow. It, it's a full-blown sippy cup. It's uh, yeah. Coca-Cola. It's, you know, a lot of people have given Anna? me a variety of cups, mugs, things of that nature. Yeah. And they often just sit in my in my cupboard. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, you know what? I, I want to fill this thing up with ice. Oh, and yeah. I'll tell you what, sucking the water has made it a lot more enjoyable. I pour myself a glass of water, it just sits there all day. So this is my sippy cup, it's Coke branded. It's got wow. Santa Claus on it. Um, it truly yeah. is like a cup. If you were a cup. Yeah. That's what you would be. Let me uh, let me go put this back, guys. Okay. Oh my God. I don't know if that was worth it. I mean, it took a lot yeah, of time I mean, and it wasn't really yeah. cool. That was a pretty tacky, tacky cup. Also, is this guy uh have anything that's not coke related? Yeah, like what's with all where's <laughs> the guys, I just, uh, oh, Hey James, how's it going? Got another Coca-Cola oh sippy cup. Oh my goodness, that's Oh my shocking. god. Yeah, so this that's one, cool. it's interesting. It's got the uh, classic Coke polar bears. Yes. And yeah. uh maybe I'll give this one a try tomorrow just to change it up, but uh I like cuz it looks like yeah. a can. Yeah. It's now, is that straw? Is that meant for that? Yeah. Uh, you know what? I'm I'm not sure. Because the the ridge of it doesn't seem to fit in an appropriate spot. You might be right. Maybe it's more for for guzzling, but uh, I'll, I'll, do some, I'll do some research on some uh, collector sites later. I'm gonna put this back. Okay. Uh, for a guy who complains oh. about people being nerds, he seems Seriously. to be one of the biggest nerds there is. <laughs> I mean, I've never seen <laughs> such a nerd. My God. Jesus Christ! Coca it's embarrassing to be on the show sometimes. Yeah. Um. So anyway. <laughs> Turkish uh, Hey! Hey, what's I was going just on, James? <laughs> oh my god, an I, even bigger I, one. Are, I, I feel like I'd be able to get probably most of my water for the yeah, day. Yeah, that's like a two this liter. Is, this is a big one. This is a yeah. real big one. And uh, this one, Dave, the straw does correspond. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But you gotta be careful with some of those plastic straws. They can leak estrogen into your drink. And okay. You don't want well, that. Yeah, that. But I, I will say, look, it's got a classic, you know, you just screw it off. Yeah. Wow. Oh, you know what? I was wrong. I this is a you, you do a little. This is a pop off. See, that's pretty so, good. All right, I'm gonna go put it back. Okay. I mean, how easy is that? Like a pop off? I can oh. see it a mile away. How easy? Oh yeah, obviously it was a pop off. I could have tell it here. I don't know why I tried to yeah. screw it. Yeah, like it might be a little bit dim in the brains yeah, department. It's it must be the the estrogen. Yeah, his cup might be half the, full if you know what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> Hey James, what's going on? Notice as I was walking, my chest felt a little tender. Anyways, <laughs> let's get back into the revised resolutions. Dave, you're trying to drink more water. Yeah, more yeah. water. I love it. I want to make sure that I, because uh, I drink like five cups of coffee a day, mm, so I want to yeah. make sure that which I'm is not... the, which is a change from your five beers usually. There well, you go, James. Wow. Well, you know what? I There's gave that up a long time cups. ago. Okay, so Dave, do you have any other resolutions for the remainder of the year? Um, no. <laughs> All right. Okay, Alex, you talked about your personal journey that kept yes. you away from the show right. for about a month and a half. Talked yeah. about how you think resolutions at the top of the year is a little hokey. What do yeah, you think I did about say that. resolution in the sixth month of the year? Mm -hmm. I mean... Uh, I'm, I guess I'd be more, I, it's, it feels like it would come about more naturally, mm -hmm. you know, cause it'd be like, oh, just like, yeah, like Dave, it'd be like, oh, this is like something I want to, you know, improve on or whatever. Um, yeah, I guess I'm also trying to be more physically healthy, but more so with like, um, nutrition. Oh, okay. And, like food that I'm eating. Well, can, can I ask, uh, what are yeah. some of your food-based vices? And I think it'd be fun well, if we all jump in on this one. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I, I don't have as much of a sweet tooth as I do. I like the savory, so okay. you know, like I love a chip and you know, just pretty much any kind of like snack food kind of yeah. thing. Um, yeah. So not trying to like cut that out completely, obviously, but just like. You know, sort of like be more aware of 
what I mean? I think I think cold turkey is tough. I think yeah. you basically have to use it as a a every now and then treat. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah, I think I think it, it yeah. could be really easy to just I'm going to go cold turkey and just mm -hmm. eat almonds and salad. Yeah. And then I think that can sort of you run the risk of turning it into some weird food obsession. Exactly. And I think you, then, live, you live an insane yeah. life. Yeah, in like you, there's no joy. You, you gotta know? start measuring yeah. powders. Yeah, well, like I don't want to get to a not in the way you do, Dave. Yeah, well, I don't measure it. Oh, <laughs> wow! No wonder you're powder mucking out better. so much barn. You're all you're all hopped up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Dave, it's all those powders. Dave, now you you're you're on your personal fitness journey. Mm -hmm. Do you have any food vices? Uh, I would say that uh, I can be pretty good with food. I've been trying to. Uh, I've been trying to not eat breakfast oh. and uh, exercise before eating, and that way, that, apparently, that means that you burn what's already there, as opposed oh, yeah. to burning the new food consumed. Well, eating see. after exercising is awesome because mm -hmm. you're ravenous. It, it feels yeah. really cool. But I think yeah, I really think cool. what I struggle with is like a three p like I've had lunch and then at like three thirty p.m. Mm, you get I'm like right? I want like a snack. Yes. And I need to learn how to like either maybe have something that is healthy that tides me over or just preserve until dinner because that's yeah. like the witching hour in terms of like eating yes. kind of tr little treats or little well, chips. You know, you know what seems to be in right now is grapes from the freezer. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's good. I've tried that. I've never uh -huh. tried it. It sounds delightful, but I think my teeth are too sensitive for yeah, it. Yeah, that's my that's the problem that I have. It's too it it like hurts, and yeah. not in a good way. Um, my vice might be the sweets. I used to be yeah. salty. Oh yeah. I, I'm you're... at a point in my life where dessert after a meal, any meal, is a necessity. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Really. You gotta have a little sweet. Yeah. You're it's. Gonna... Yeah. It, it drives me crazy if I don't have anything, wow. and I don't always need it, and I'll wean myself off. I've got a, a full tub of Hagen Dazs that Ooh. three quarters of it is going to get uh, it's going to get consumed tonight. Yeah, a, a what bathtub. Kind of, what flavor? What? The uh, flavor it's salted caramel and chocolate. Mmm, that sounds so good. Yeah, it is. Um, oh, yeah, that that ice cream is fantastic. Yeah, they do make a good ice cream. Every couple of years, I think, I'm going to give the Ben and Jerry's a try, and I just find it yeah. is not good. Oh, really? There's too that, much kind of weird stuff going on. I was going to say, there's flavors. a lot going on in there. Like, it feels too, like, things. it feels like it's grainy or, yeah. like, not smooth. Right, yeah, yeah, like, they, it's like they're more focused on the mix-ins than the actual ice cream. Although yeah. I did just take a trip to their factory. I, I was going to ask if you've ever been, I've been to the factory. It's great. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. The, I didn't like our tour guide, though. She was a bit of a, she was uh, like a fake, very fake friendly. Oh. Like see, she was we, trying to be bubbly and stuff, but you can tell that yeah. deep down she resented being there. But and you like, know, the, the people of Vermont, they have a, a, a gleam and a shine to them. Maybe, maybe you're do. being quick to judge. I don't think so, because I like most Vermonters. Yeah. But this one in particular st stood out to me. Now, is oh, it a maybe? Vermonter or a, or a Vermonteer? Oh, a Vermontonian. This one was a stowaway. Oh, because oh, you were in Stowe. That was in Stowe, Vermont, oh. yeah. We should do an at-home, on-location Oh, Vermont. my God, yes. Yeah, we can interview Bernie Sanders. Yeah. One of the times I was there for the tree lighting, he was two feet away from me. No. Uh, was he wearing a lot, a lot, A lot taller than I thought he was really? going to be. Really? Short man. He's bigger than me. Wow. Really? Well, Did yeah. he have mittens? Okay. Was he wearing his mittens? Did he have mittens? I don't know if he had some that were similar to the the one from the... Uh, the inauguration. The thing. inauguration, yeah. Did he, yeah. Set, did he smell like a secondhand clothes store? Uh, no, <laughs> I, I didn't get close enough to take a good whiff. You didn't okay. get a you know, whiff? Yeah. Wow. So are we saying those are the revised resolutions? On your end, Dave, it's just a fitness journey, and Alex, you're looking to cut back on the savory? Well, yes, but it's it's deeper than that, James. You know, it's more like um, I'm trying to rebuild myself from the ground up, you know, yeah, and oh, I'm focusing on like the physical part first before okay. anything else, I think. Well, so. I think when we're feeling good physically, we start to feel better mentally. Exactly. Well, the right. mind is a physical yeah. organ also. So. The mind is a physical organ. Okay, calm down, Dr. Fauci. <laughs> 
I, um, I want to chime in with mine. Mine's very yes, vague, please. but but I really I was thinking about it today. The the some very minor prep going into the show. Mm -hmm. Want to have more fun. Oh, that's nice. I that's feel like fun. I don't have a lot of fun. Oh, but you're. I feel like you're you're having fun when I no, see. No, I I. But but let's get down to the brass tacks. I have fun doing this show an awful yeah. lot, despite what my demeanor might say. <laughs> I have fun when I'm on stage. I have fun when I'm performing. Mm -hmm. But most of the things that are fun, it's either a life passion or some type of work. Ah, uh, yes. So I want to have some fun that isn't related to the thing that I find most fun, which is being in front of people. Like you want to like, what do you want to, you want to go to like La Ronde? No, well, th here, so this is my conundrum. Most things that people find fun, I don't really like that. Much. Right. Right. You have to, so you're having to, you're on your own personal journey to figure out what you find fun. That yeah, doesn't like, involve performing. Yeah. If, if I were to pick anything that's just like unbridled fun that has nothing to do, like I don't make money off it and I don't, yeah. I don't make the most of it from a performance standpoint, it's mm -hmm. Christmas. But what am I going to do? Have fun with Christmas all year long? I'm not a sicko. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe maybe you got to open one of those like Christmas all year round stores. You, you know. know, periodically throughout the year, I go to the one in the old port. And I, I, I like it. It's what I, I like thought it, of. it feels a little naughty. Yeah, because but like, I don't, I don't, I don't feel Christmas at that time of year, which is good because I don't want to be yeah. one of these like. You're well, like, you know, Christmas. Christmas. Yeah, I like I like doing it as a joke. I like to remind yeah. people like, well, you know, it's June, so. You know, by the by the time uh, you know it, it's September. Then it's only a month away from October, which means thirty <laughs> days until the holidays. You know, it. It, it's it's fun, but I I need I need to find some fun. We're well, all on journey. I, I think all... Alex and I could come up with some things that you might be able yeah. to find fun. I okay, well, this is perfect because I think it's a great segue. I've got I've got a we, suggestion. We either okay. help each other with our resolutions, mm -hmm. but I also want for us to all be on the hot seat. Where we give each other resolutions. Wow. Okay. okay. Great. Okay. So, Dave, why don't we start with me? How are you going to help me with achieving my resolution? I think that there's something. Be, be, as, be as frank as possible. I think that you, if you could put your initial feelings toward it aside, might uh -huh. enjoy hiking. Hmm. Dave. <laughs> I, I, you like going thought, on walks. I thought you yeah. knew. I do know you. I do um, know you. That's the thing, James. I think I know you better than you know yourself. Yeah. Wow. He <laughs> yeah. He definitely it does. Like, it feels like I just got my barn mucked out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Um, gross. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I think, you know, you like walking. You like going on walks. Yeah. Uh, you like uh, you like some scenic stuff. You like being outside. You like, uh, you know, you like getting your steps in. I think that if you went on, like, not necessarily, like, a full trip where you're going on these big hikes or something like that, but if you traveled, like, an hour and went to go hike on, like, a mountain or something uh, with, like, a path through nature, you see, like, some deer, you yeah. see some birds, you're calling your friends, making some jokes, but you're in the atmosphere of nature, then you get back... Your buddy Dave is also on a hike with you. Wow. <laughs> we we stop. I'll tell you what I don't like about this. We get a poutine this. on the way home See, and make a day of it. Yeah. I think so you like it. Here's my thing. I don't like clunky terrains and planes. Here's the thing, though. <laughs> it's too clunky. You're like stepping on things. You got to like, no. oh, let me stand on this root. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's awful. There, if it was like, a, if it was like, I like walking down the canal. I want to see deer. I'd, you know what? I want to go to the zoo. I want to go to the zoo this year. There are well, smooth okay. hikes though, James. That's what. There's I, definitely smooth hikes. There's hikes where the there's terrain mountains. isn't bumpy at all. You know what? Yeah, but you know, like, I just I, feels I, I like walked you're gonna up the mountain, and it was great. I've walked up the mountain too. I don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't want to tell you. I don't want. I don't want it. I don't want either an incline or a decline. You want just like. You just want flat. <laughs> yeah, I don't want it to well... be clunky. Okay, Alex, maybe you can give it a go instead of something that. <laughs> but no, so, we found something. Right? We found certain things. I want to go to the zoo, and you know what? <laughs> no one suggested zoo, but you. Yeah, you said zoo. <laughs> oh, you said you see a deer. I was like, oh, see animals. I like animals. 
Um, hey, I got one. And I want to go to a pumpkin patch. <laughs> okay. Pumpkin patches you know, suck. Oh, yeah, I wouldn't know. I've never been to one. All the ones I've been to are always terrible. Yeah, but you go with your family. Yeah. Alex, take it away. You know what? I feel like people get a lot of joy and fulfillment out of traveling. And I feel like you that I know of are have not, you know, done a lot of traveling. Uh, oh. Maybe you have. Maybe <laughs> you have. And I just don't know. But, you know, like, and I that's actually something for myself, too. I'm like, I, you know, have not really explored this wide world of ours so yeah you well know, that could be something it, it, it's tough because things are so expensive you know well yes it is but uh expensive. but you know as they say, you, you can't take it with you when you go hey there can't you go take it with you it's the experiences yeah Wait, now i want to get now i want to get back to pumpkin patches okay, well again <laughs> you're so you're just vetoing traveling yeah, you're hold on no i'm not no i'm not okay i'm not he's traveling not. to a pumpkin patch okay. imagine like go i bet you there's one upstate new york or in burlington or in vermont or something oh, like that where it's like yes. you know this sunday where you've we're, already been. <laughs> we're gonna have a corn boil and there's a maze and there's tractor rides yeah you know what? I've been to a haunted corn maze, and that was incredibly fun. I will say. Okay. So, oh, well, maybe. hold on, Alex. You want me? Yeah. Where are you sending me? Let's imagine this. Where do you send James? Because I I got some places on my list. Yeah. I mean, I feel like you want to go somewhere. I think you'd do well to have somewhere um, where they speak English. You know, just All so right. you don't have that language barrier. You sure. know, you're already out of your element. Yeah, I'm too militant. I can't tolerate other languages, apparently. It, it can't be too hot, because James doesn't like the heat, it and it can't be too cold. Right. You know what? I'm I'm pretty impressed by... Hold on. New episode idea. <laughs> Who knows James the best? Uh-oh. A That's month-long good. competitive <laughs> tournament. It can't be too cold, because James doesn't Brad like Robin. getting a little cold. I'd yeah, rather be cold. a little cold than too hot, though. Sure. Yes. So. All right. Okay, how about, um... And there can't be any hikes. <laughs> no Yeah, hikes. Dave's right again. You know, I'm picturing maybe, like, uh, maybe somewhere like, you know, like Denmark could be I've nice. been to Denmark. You've yeah. been to Denmark? We put you in a wheelchair, we roll you around Denmark. Oh, man, is, is there a little blanket on my leg? <laughs> yeah, Dave, you have a little, a little tartan blanket. You're a polio and, like, LARPer. Yeah. <laughs> I've been to Denmark. I spent a couple hours there as oh, I wow. waited... <laughs> Hold on, hold on, because I had a layover, and instead of staying at the airport, I was like, you know what, I'm going to get on a train and go to Denmark for a few hours, and then I went to Sweden. Wait, so you didn't go to Denmark, or you I did. Went? No, I, I, I got to an airport, it's like, oh, Denmark is only like a 30, 40 minute uh, train ride away, mm. went to Denmark for a few hours before my connecting flight to Sweden. Why I went to a pier. I saw all these boats. I went into a, wow. a gift shop and I said, I'm only here for a couple hours. What should I do? And the lady at the desk said, there's nothing to do. Oh, but that's because she lives there. <laughs> and that's when I fell in love. <laughs> with the lady or with this? Yes. Both. <laughs> Both. <laughs> yeah. So there you go. Okay, we'll see. I wasn't far off. You seem to like Denmark. Um, I don't know. Ooh, what about like... I feel like maybe Japan could be fun. Oh, it's so long on the plane. It's a long on the plane, but you just sit I there. You, you just sit there and Man. you can like, you Shut know, up. watch like <laughs> you can watch five movies. You know, James I doesn't like movies. Like movies. The famous there we go. Like Thank movies. you, Dave. Thank you. That's <laughs> I know, another thing maybe... I developed. A lot of people were like, "Yeah, you know, I changed so much in the COVID times. I got into this. I made sourdough bread. My thing was, I don't like movies anymore." Yeah, movies, and God yeah. forbid someone's watching the movie on the plane with him. Oh, <laughs> yeah, they're horrible. looking over. <laughs> yeah, I look over. The person's got their popcorn. You popcorn on the movie? Yeah, yeah, they, yeah. It's it's a movie plane. <laughs> it's a movie plane. I love. I don't I, go on a movie look, plane. Look, I uh, I've got some places I'd like to go. I'd like to go to Nashville, Dave. You and I have often yes. talked about going together. We floated the fun. idea. I'm a Dave's bit... been on a Dave's been on a road trip with me. I'm completely pleasant to be around on the on the trips oh, sir i i i i would go on a road trip with you as long oh, you as you and me would be fine on a road trip align with your interests 
What's you, that? Alex, you and me, because look, look, I can't drive, so you'd be, you'd be. Oh yes. You'd, you'd be, you'd be the wheel lady. I'm the driver. You'd be sitting there, be maybe wheels. for an hour in. Oh, hold yeah. on, Dave, you're not on this trip. Yeah, Dave, you're me and Alex, home. just the ladies. Yeah. Just the ladies. Whoa. We've got our coffees. Mm -hmm. I think it's fall. I only travel in the fall. I think fall, yeah. yeah. And then and then I go, Alex, let's get into it. Let's get into the good stuff. Let's talk yeah. about some some interesting feeling-based things. Oh, my we therapy do it. Work. Yeah, right. but I'd share too. I, I'd share my stuff yeah. too. Dave, what do you think? You'd be in the back. You'd be all uh, there. He'd be sleeping. No. I'm in the back. Oh, he's there, but he's not there. Exactly. It was a tease. Zoom? All right. Okay. okay. So I've been, I've FaceTime. been, my resolution is I should go on a trip. Yeah. Okay. And it, you know, yeah, I think Nashville could be very cool or, you know, where is really fun. Actually it might be too hot for you, but new Orleans is a very fun. Spot. I would go there. I was there with you, Alex. Yeah. That's right. Oh yeah. No invite for me. Oh, yeah. uh, sorry. <laughs> Couples only. Yeah. Me and oh. my and this, David was, this was my last trip prior to parenthood it's and true. prior to the world changing because prior to the, as yeah. we were there we would get news from the east <laughs> of the deadly virus spreading yeah, we were like, the world. Huh, okay yeah. okay all right enjoying a crawfish boil <laughs> yeah. look you know you made the most of your fun before the world changed and we, we really embraced did. the new normal yeah yeah dave uh, let's go to you it's time to give you some resolutions okay yeah, you're good. What do you think, Alex? You see this Dave guy. What do you think? Mm -hmm. I think father, father yeah. Dave. Alex uh, is about to say, I think you leave your family. <laughs> That's the resolution. Well, gonna, I have a cat crawling across my desk here. Nice. Um, uh, <laughs> wait, you're asking me what do I see in terms what of. What resolution would you give me? Oh, yeah, okay. you got to You got to give Dave a resolution. You have Dave a resolution. All right. But we didn't do this yet. Hold on. No, we just did it to me. <laughs> no, no but didn't. that was you trying to have more fun. Yeah, we were trying to help yeah, you but then, but then, But then I segued into, oh, oh you know, you're right. Well, hold on. Maybe you're right. <laughs> Let's Dave. start with Dave then. What are we, what are Who's we? Because it felt like you guys gave me mine. Your resolution for me yeah, is traveling. Yeah, we did. It was a sub, it went, you know. All right. Well, like That's good conversation right. does. What are we thinking yeah. for, our, for our boy Dave? You know what? You jumped into my head and i don't know if it's like because my cat just appeared but i think dave should get a dog i love it i think it would be fun and i think you could handle it you know i'm a you dog know? guy already... yeah and I've, yeah i've had dogs when i was younger mm -hmm. i had a dog named charlie oh my cat's name is charlie there you go she's right there Anyway, and uh, I would love to get a dog, but I feel as though I there's a few things that I want to stabilize in my life first, mm, uh, such fair. as housing. I don't think I'm allowed a dog at this apartment. Oh, yeah. And uh, I was waiting until my son turned two, I think, because I feel right. like dogs around small babies, babies can be a bit of a risk. Right. But right. I would be I'm, I'm all in for getting a dog at some point in the next, I'm going to say two years. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, so by twenty twenty six, you got a dog. Yeah. You'll have I a dog. A, I got a dog. I got I'm one for you, Dave. Ruffles. Go ahead. I got Ruffles. one for you. That's cute. Yeah. Go on. Ready, Dave? Yeah. I want to see you on stage more. Ooh! <laughs> shots fired. Yeah. I want to see Dave performing more. With his dog. Yeah, his dog Ruffles. Yeah. Well, you know, I would love also to perform more. You know, I used to perform a lot. Yes, we know. Uh, prior to uh, having children, and yeah. I, I do feel a little bit rusty right now. So I'm, even though I've, I've been doing more, I've I've had a show a week yeah. for the yeah. last month actually, and that's like uh, that's probably the peak of my abilities at this point. Mm -hmm. uh, until well, my I mean, kids are a little older. You are a father. Yeah, yeah. After all. And so uh, whenever I leave, I have to rely on my significant other to take care of my mm -hmm. children, which is fine. Yeah. But yeah, I feel like I, 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 I appreciate that resolution and I've already, I guess, started to enact it. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Steps. Baby steps. Yes. You know? Okay. Yeah. They, we, Rome wasn't built in a day. That's mm -hmm. right. That's what we're learning. Let's Still go to Alex for. here. Okay. Dave, what? why don't you give Alex a resolution? I'm ready. And don't tell her to get lip fillers or something <laughs> like that. Oh, please. Well, there, there goes my options. Already on my list. Um, this is a good question. I mean, 
I would also give you the one that James just gave me, which is perform more. But I don't. I want to mm -hmm. also offer maybe a come on, get creative. Don't be a thief. <laughs> I want to see you. Uh, maybe uh, instead of perform more, maybe write more. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. Oh. But hold on, is this something you're interested in, Alex Brown? You know what? It actually is. Oh. And I and I'm always kind of like, but what do I write? You know what I mean? Like, I'm just the like- Eternal struggle. I yeah. feel like you've dabbled in a lot of sketch. I have, uh, yeah. So and I do like that. I have Pursuing fun that, that outlet maybe. Yeah. Or I could even see you writing some sort of situational oh. uh, dramedy, uh, Ooh. perhaps. I've thought about that. I'm like, should I write like a full thing? But mm. I, don't know. I don't know. It's very intimidating. Sure. And I think it's part of my, it yeah. is part of my personal journey. You know? I, I want to chime in here. Yeah. The one that Dave gave to you, the one that I gave to Dave, are these more resolutions or like challenges goals. slash goals? Ooh, that's a great question. But I mean, I think resolutions can be challenges. or Yeah, because the resolution's like, oh, okay. I want to do this, okay. you know? Yeah, okay, fair and enough. And that's the challenge. Um. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Or maybe I write the great American novel, you know, mm. about like uh, Marilyn Monroe. I could see you writing like uh, maybe like teen novels mm. or like a, like a, almost like a <laughs> Judy Bloom or like a, some yeah. R.L. Stein. <laughs> yeah, maybe I like, go full R.L. Stein. Yeah, or yeah, maybe. I think I think you could write fun. some like kind of like a YA. Yeah. Uh, uh, even like, uh, yeah, some horror, YA horror or. Ooh, I like know. that. Yeah. You know, and that's, you know, it looks like R.L. Stein, like he did pretty well for himself. You know, that could Hold be on. lucrative. What about erotica? Ooh, I don't. Yeah. Young adult Young erotica. Adult erotica. <laughs> Young, adult yeah. erotica. <laughs> Young adult horror erotica. Yeah, it's, it's. There it is. Goosebumps meets Twilight means Fifty Shades. Yes. That's there like uh, Stephen King writing It, where there's like kids. Oh, sex yeah. Scenes. Like yeah. A child gangbang. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, well... I have never heard that on this show before. <laughs> Dave's whistle is getting wet here in that one. <laughs> He's, yeah. Oh, it took about an hour, hard. but we finally got some comments coming in from the chat from our legendary oh, viewers, which include go. the real Andrew Mackay. He writes, quote, I want to see James interact with Dave's new dog. Trust me, if Dave got a dog, I'd be over there all the time. Best friends. Yeah, Ruffles. First time in a long time, Farm Boy. You want to talk about a legend? They write, quote, Alex Brown, young adult writer. So just yes. affirming what we've already said, which I yeah, love. Yeah, like it's, it's like I already have a fake sounding name. So yeah, I could just like lean into that as like my mm -hmm. pet name or is that, what, yeah, whatever it's called. You know, when like when yeah. writers, like oh yeah, Stephen King is like, uh, what's his name? Like Robert something. Oh, who did a Running Man. When he wrote Running Man, he was under a pen name. Yeah. Is that because it's like, oh, it's such a bad thing. So like, I don't want my I don't name. Know. That's a good question. I'm not sure why. He it might be, it might be because they want perhaps because I bet you some of these authors have other books under different names because they don't yeah. want people to think, oh, well, they already right. do this. I won't like this. So they go in cold, unknown. Or, to yeah. It's true. That, yeah, that like, book is more of a sort of sci-fi action book mm -hmm. than, a, than a horror. So could be. Stephen yeah. King wrote Running Man? I thought so. Didn't he? I have no Am idea. Am I mistaking that? I only know the film starring Arnold Schwarzenegger. Let me look it up. Maybe I'm wrong. Stephen King pen name. We're just... We're getting Richard double research Bachman. here. It's Richard Bachman. That's it. Now we're just uh... not to be confused with Randy Bachman. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> not not Randy Bachman. Running Man is Stephen King. Yeah, under uh, a different type. Under R Richard Bachman. I want to I want to throw a resolution to Alex. Yeah, Richard okay, Bachman. Yes. Please, I'm open. I I want to see you take on a new fun pastime or hobby. Oh, but could not be something something like not this, but in the vein of stamp collecting or oh. like a thing, something that something that keeps you calm and regulated. Mm. Something you can turn on some music, instrumental yeah. only, 
Yeah. You brew up a cup of coffee or tea, you open a window, you let the cool breeze come in, mm. and you just you fiddle with your things. Oh, I like that. Or like you know. like painting classic cars. <laughs> oh yeah. Like a, like a like a, a little activity like that. Yeah. Something yeah, and and I like that cuz it's sort of like could be kind of like meditative, you know, like a yes. little and obviously like I'm not yeah, I wouldn't be like on my phone. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, maybe like an you know? art and craft. Well, it's I have I have an arts background after all. A fine and arts I, background. A fine arts background, really? and I never. But as part of what discipline? It was it was a multidiscipline. Tell us. Kind of mixed media. It was it was a mixed media. I did a, I did some found object work, you know, mm. in my sculpture class at Concordia. Um, yeah, I took a painting class. How how good of a sculptor are you? I mean, it's no, I'm not. I'm not a okay, I was gonna model. say, <laughs> I think I think my resolution would be: Can you sculpt figurines of people on this show? Oh, maybe I can. Action I can figures, try it. like in yeah, the way that when, when Kramer made the fusilli yes, Barry, and yeah, yeah, that's yeah. yeah. Okay, maybe I'll make a. I'll make a. I'll make a Tortellini James or something. Well, no, we gotta have Clay Dave. Clay Dave. Yeah, I'll do a Clay Dave. You yeah, know, uh, I have a bit of a fine arts bus. background myself. Oh, you do? In CGEP, I took a uh, nude sketch class. Were you nude? No, while I wasn't nude as a yeah, CGEP was student. Dave was drawing things <laughs> naked. But uh, <laughs> they would bring in uh, they would bring in a nude model yep. uh, for each class. And mm -hmm. uh, you have to get charcoal. Yep. And a With sketch pad. Pads of paper. And then you would do uh, you would do sketches of this uh, yeah. nude. And one guy came in. There's a lot of guys, which is fine. Yeah. But it is what it is. And this yeah. guy came in with a staff. And I just found uh, my old nude sketches of this guy <laughs> posed in all sorts of ways. You have the book? We got to yeah, see. Yeah, I think uh, somewhere lying around. You know what? I also I took a I took James a live class too. Yeah. You took no, a, I'm just you I'm just thinking class. about how we can turn this into content for the show. Oh, Dave's nude sketches. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I have nude sketches too. I we can do like a You wait, you've got them in your possession? I think there's I have my I have my portfolio from NASCAD University. It'd be great if uh, we could get an art University. expert to come on. <laughs> <University>. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, James. <laughs> It'd be great if we could get Sorry. someone who's familiar with art to go over whose art wow. is better. That's actually really funny. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But anyway, like, because I, yeah, like, I used to, and I used to, like, draw and stuff when I was, like, younger, and I just, like, don't do that anymore. And I've always been like, I should get back to that. So, Maybe you start with kind of one of those grown-up coloring books. Ooh, I, I had one of those, and I just, like, never opened a single page. Now, did so, you see characters that you drew? Kind of like, uh, ooh, like yes. objects of your own creation that you had? Like, no, <laughs> no. I was fully copying. I used to draw Sailor Moon when I was a kid. Okay. Um, calm, calm down, Dave. Let's not get wet around the whistle. <laughs> Why? Because she's um, beautiful? She's a beautiful, <laughs> elegant young girl you don't talk about her that way <laughs> <laughs> um and then i would draw like i would draw like the simpsons because like obviously oh, nice. i used to draw homer yeah 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 but you didn't even watch the simpsons <laughs> yeah you just like heard about it secondhand yeah well, I, I used to draw what people would describe to me homer yeah. looking like <laughs> yeah it was just something <laughs> off just yeah. totally off yeah, yeah. well it sounds like all the resolutions we've given to each other are pretty on brand with things that we're looking for in our life. And they're all very, um, yeah, they could only bring fulfillment and, you know, happiness, I think. Yeah. And I uh, guess it's official. I'm going to the zoo. You're going to, well, that yeah. was your own. Yeah. And on a hike. <laughs> you're going on a hike. At oh, wait, something fell over. This guy I doesn't mean, really like anything, right? No, I mean, it's pretty hard to please. <laughs> a very mild suggestion please. of going on one hike and he flips out. Like, does he not understand hiking is walking? Yeah, it's just I walking. Mean, he likes walking. Walk. He loves he's to complaining walk. about the terrain. A lot of a lot of uh, hikes have paved terrain. And it's I like never gonna believe this. He never. Oh, hey, hey James, it fell out of my cupboard. It was another sippy cup. Oh, oh my, my god! Wow. One more. Like, it's usually this. Look at this crazy straw. That is crazy. Yeah. that's wacky. Yeah, and this one, yeah, this one, it uh, 
screws right off. That one's a screwer, that, yeah. That's a screw yeah. off. Okay. Yeah. Nice. But it's a little dusty, it looks like. Yeah. It's, it, well, it's, it's uh, been a while. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, cool. well, guys, I think we've done it. <laughs> yeah. I think another we've... another great okay. edition of Revised Resolutions, 2024 edition, Day Final Thoughts. Uh, you know, uh, life's full of its challenges. and oh, uh, so true. It's uh, yeah. important that as a person, you, you know, you don't t you t tackle them one at a time and don't get too stressed and... Uh, yeah. You know, just do the best with what you got. I couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> Alex, final thoughts. You know, I, yeah, kind of similar to Dave. It's like one day at a time kind of thing. And like, that's how you, I think to build a sustainable, you know, mm. happy life uh, with good habits takes time and effort. And uh, I think it's an admirable journey to be on. So I'm happy for all of us. Looking forward to the future. Once again, wise words <laughs> spoken eloquently. We'll be back <laughs> a week from tonight for what I believe is episode 487 wow. of the James Internet Show. Until but James, then, for, yes. What are your final thoughts? Oh, yeah. My final Let's thoughts. Jerry yeah. Springer? Well, life is like a terrain. Some parts of life are smooth, like a trail. Some parts are bumpy and lumpy and unstabilized, forcing you to walk and jump and stand on roots and live in the instability of it all. But once you reach the peak or the ending point, you'll see that the view is spectacular. Wow. And it's important to remind yourself of the journey that you went on to get there. Keep going. Yeah. Let's see and I will. <laughs> <laughs> Next week, live on Twitch.tv slash at home with James. Until then, for Alex and Dave, I am James. You are you. We were here. Good night, goodbye, farewell, and of course, be well.